Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to make a video showcasing my manga collection, uh, giving some brief thoughts on each series, uh, what I think about it. And uh, yeah, I've been watching a lot of manga tubers lately. Uh, I've been really getting into it, and I've been seeing that a lot of I've been seeing a lot of manga collection videos. So wanted to do my own kind of keep track of my own progress, and uh, yeah. So I guess we'll just jump right into it. So starting up here in the top left, we have a art book for a gotcha game I play called Azure Lane. Um, I'm not going to take it out because it's kind of hard to get back in the box sometimes, but, uh, just an art book. It's not, not, it's not NSFW, but, uh, yeah, it was actually pretty expensive. Um, this is the second anniversary one. I believe that was two years ago now almost, but, uh, yeah. So moving on to the first manga, we have Love is War. Now this manga is, uh one of in my opinion one of or one of the or if not the best uh new gen romance manga um i'm not gonna say it's the best one of all time but i do read a lot of romance manga and this one is really just a cut above the rest uh you have these two characters uh shirogane and kaguya who are very uh they're geniuses basically and they're just trying to outwit each other and get and they're both trying to make the other one confess first and it's really cute really funny the humor is the humor is like very modern it's not corny at all and i think it's the art is great as well some of these covers are really good especially the first one like just amazing great artwork but uh yeah this author uh aka akasaka also has he is i don't know if he's illustrating or doing the art for a popular series right now called oshinoko it's been popping off but uh yeah i'll definitely cop that one once the english release comes out this is volume 1 to 22 so that's everything that's out in english right now if you were wondering this is around chapter 220 so yeah next up we have chainsaw man now what can be said about chainsaw man i mean everyone knows chainsaw man by now i think it's a uh, a lot darker and more violent for than most shonen jump manga uh there's 10 volumes out right now in english part part one of the series covers 1 to 11 I don't remember. I think the volume 11 comes out in August, I believe. But uh, yeah, this is a great series. I mean, everyone knows Chainsaw Man by now. Cute girls, lots of cool fights, really crazy pacing, which I think is what draws a lot of people to the series. It really hooks you in from the start. But uh, yeah, volume 8, I believe, and 9 in particular, uh, they are just like insane. Like, I was, it was a mindfuck. I'm definitely going to have to reread this once volume 11 comes out. Uh, in the corner here, today's Cerberus. Uh, I think it's a lesser known series. Uh, just your typical rom-com. Uh, great art, and the ending was really good. I was going to collect this series, but it's... I'm not going to say the volumes are hard to find, but they're definitely not like in abundance everywhere so it's kind of just a pain to collect them but uh yeah so that's shelf number one now moving down here we kind of have my uh one piece shrine <laughs> uh starting with the figures boa hancock this figure is wonderful i got it for a really good price i think it was around 80 dollars and as you can see it's basically as big or like compared to the volume the regular volume it's pretty big for 80 dollars uh, it doesn't have her snake unfortunately but i mean what can you do it's still a really good figure my sabo sabo uh what are these called funko pops or whatever i forgot and nami who doesn't love nami like my one of my favorite straw hats i'm gonna move them out of the way here for a second 
Ooh. So, might have caught your eye here. This is the Volume 1, the Gold Foil Edition. It is a used copy if we get it in the light here. So, there is some yellowing and slight damage on the spine. But overall, I, I basically paid um, like a retail price for this, like slightly over like $15. And I'm happy with it. It's, it was, it's great. I mean, I'm just glad to have at least one of the gold foils because they're kind of hard to find. But yeah, I don't have all of One Piece. I kind of just am collecting my favorite arcs as I uh, go along. So starting right here, we just have Wano. Uh, I'll get these guys out of the way for a second here. I'm filming with this, this with one hand, so yeah. So uh, volume one, I had this one before I got the uh, gold, gold foil one. Um, then we skipped to Baroque Works and all of Skypea except for volume 30. Um, and then we get to these omnibuses here, and I'm gonna be honest, guys, I can't recommend the One Piece omnibus to anyone, like, I just think they're, they are a good deal, because you get them for, like, I think it's 20 bucks, this was from a local comic book store, so they like to cover up the price so that they can charge you whatever they want, but... I believe they usually go for like around 20 bucks Canadian, so it is a lot of saved money, but the paper quality is not good. The spines are like kind of weak for how thick they are. And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend either the box set if you can get one in stock, which you probably can't, or the single volumes, but yeah. So then we have all of Water 7, because it's my favorite One Piece saga, like Water 7 and Ace Lobby. Uh, I don't have all of any salami, but I do have all of Water 7, so, yeah. Then, just kind of skipping around here to whatever parts I really like. Uh, Amazon Lily, Boa Hancock. I love Boa, as you can see. Oh, there she is. Uh, yeah, it's great. Great, great. And, yeah, so, there's a couple standout volumes here. 79. Not rare, not rare per se, but a little bit harder to find, uh for sure because it's a a big fight I'm not gonna say who because spoilers but yeah same with uh volume 89 here great cover really cool that one, that one actually came from uh ireland or something like it was uh i was waiting on that one for like over a month but uh yeah so let's go on to the next shelf all right so onto this shelf here starting on the left, we have We Never Learn, Volume 1 through 17, and then 19 and 20. Now, this series is not really... You guys might have seen the anime for it, I think, two years ago or something. Um, it's not like some crazy, uh, thought-provoking, wild ride. It's just a nice, chill, typical rom-com with... Lots of cute characters, cute moments, uh, quite some etchy, but nothing too crazy. Um, and yeah, it's just really good art, pretty funny. Definitely this series is not as good as Love is War. I mean, it's, it's still really great though. It's just a nice chill series. Uh, honestly, I would recommend just reading a bit online and if you're feeling it, uh, maybe look into the physicals, but Definitely just a chill read if you wanted something to just uh, brighten up your day, you know. If you have a bad day, read some fucking cute shit with uh, them just doing whatever at school, so yeah. Um, there is 21 total volumes of this, but a lot of people didn't like the ending of this series because essentially what the author did was... It's a harem, and basically the author made different routes at the end. But I feel like that's kind of an invalid criticism of the series because, I mean, who are we kidding, guys? Volume 1 to 17 sets up one girl to win, and she does win in Volume 17. And in my eyes, that is the canon winner. Now, I'm not biased here. I like all of the, I like all, all of the candidates here, but um, this girl was the canon winner in my eyes. And then 19, 18, 20, and 21 are um, just like 
fan service for if people who like those characters they want to see what it would be like if they won i guess which i did cop these two for characters that i also wanted to see that so yeah good series um nothing crazy i just don't take it too seriously it's just chill but yeah so moving on here this is a series that i recently got interested in it is created by the author of flowers of evil um uh, a great great like psychological kind of uh thriller i guess like it was just insane flowers of evil so i definitely wanted to get onto this uh, series here it's about a it's about a guy who uh turns into a vampire and uh kind of i haven't got far into it i'm only on volume four right now but uh the artwork is just like insane guys like i don't know let's see if i got anything here this is kind of the more slice of life moments at the start but uh like the art is amazing in this series so yeah and the covers are what initially drew me to it other than it being by the flowers of evil guy like the covers are incredible some of my or not even some of like literally guys these are my favorite covers in manga right now like they have like a kind of pastel look to them like they are just beautiful like I love these volumes so much, especially volume 10 here. Great colors. Unfortunately, my I had two of my volumes are not in the best shape. Uh, not terrible, still doable, but a little bit of yellowing and stuff, but uh, not too big a deal. So yeah, there are 10. Volume one and six right now are out of stock. They're not out of print, but uh, can't find them right now for a decent price. So just waiting on them to come back in stock. But yeah, so moving on we have shikamori's not just a cutie this is your there's an anime of this ongoing right now i was reading this before the anime got announced it is uh it's about it's about a high school couple and basically this girl is just a chad guys like she's very cute and beautiful but she has a chad like side <laughs> that comes out you can kind of see it on the cover there but uh yeah some people are saying they'll like the anime mostly because of the mc he's kind of a soy boy but like i mean you just gotta not take this series too seriously man like it's just a cute wholesome thing to read like it's pretty good um yeah so now uh heavy hitter here <laughs> we got uh my dress up darling so i mean this anime exploded uh last season uh, for good reason it is an amazing series like it has etchy in it so if you're not into that i mean i guess you're not into that but if you can look past it or if you are an etchy enjoyer it is a great series the romance is so cute it's about a cosplayer who links up with a uh, hina doll maker who makes clothes for her and uh it's amazing uh the art is amazing covers are cute i'm not going to show the other ones because they're kind of spoilers for the new cosplays but yeah volume one to four for some reason they're just taking absolutely forever to drop new volumes i'm pretty sure volume four came out like at least a year ago but i'm pretty sure like almost two by now like i don't know what's going on there but uh yeah so this is the third shelf and uh let's go on to the next one all right so on to the final shelf i mean i don't really count this shelf down here so i'll just do it first i guess we have volumes one and two of carolyn tuesday um kind of like a it's set in the future about basically music in the future is all created and determined what is like quote unquote perfect music by an ai and uh basically about these i haven't read it actually i read like the first half of the volume but i just kind of never read it again not because it was bad i don't really know why just didn't there's three i have two um yeah uh i haven't read much of it but it's pretty cool and the concept is amazing so uh yeah that's that now this here is called kuma kuma bear this i believe it had an anime i didn't even know my boy told me but uh, i didn't even know it had an anime but this series is just adorable i mean i only have one volume but like her bear suit is so fucking cute man and she's like super op kind of like a rpg type thing and like it is just adorable and so cool but yeah um now this series here is really cute it's uh 
kind of in somewhat of the same genre that has been blowing up lately, kind of like gals. She's not really a gal or a gyaru, a gyaru but a little bit of one. She's just kind of uh, stands out from the crowd. People think she's scary. And uh, this guy, forgot his name, whatever his name is, he, uh, he kind of befriends her and kind of like sees past her uh, quote-unquote scary facade. She's not putting it up on purpose, but that's just how people perceive her. So, yeah. And then Volume 1 and 2 of Nishi Joe, absolute classic, hilarious. I haven't collected all, all of it, um, but yeah, like absolutely hilarious. Like, I mean, it's, it's a goat, like most people know of it by now. So, on to this shelf here. Um, I guess we'll start with this, guys. I mean, honestly, the Elder Sister, like, one, this is just some straight degenerate shit, guys. I mean, like, Eva Pochi is such a great artist and uh this is is not a hentai manga it is um kind of like an etchy it's just like a slice of life about this guy and his uh on Achan. so it's it's great the art is amazing uh yeah it's cool uh, you've probably seen this character maybe around if you're a degenerate like myself uh, but yeah there are five volumes uh i mean honestly guys like volume six is probably never coming out because i mean like independent artists like that they just don't have the resources but yeah over here okay so these are not technically manga these are the novels of the monogatari series uh kizu monogatari is the first uh installment chronologically it's not the first i don't know if this is the first light novel release but it's not the first of the anime that was released anyways i don't have it all i have kizu monogatari uh hana monogatari actually i just realized this but this is the first thing that happens chronologically and this is the last so uh that's kind of interesting but yeah and then this is the box set of uh, the final season of Monogatari. Um, guys, I don't know about the US, but if you're in Canada and you're interested in these, just look on Amazon. Like, for some reason, they, I don't know, they're just trying to get rid of them. I really don't know, but, like, this thing will run you, like, 130 bucks at, at a retail store. But if you get it on Amazon, they're just, like, 70 bucks. Like, I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, I mean, the Monogatari series is, like, literally amazing. Probably my favorite series of all time. Uh... It's just goaded, especially the anime, hilarious. It's a great One Punch Man here. Um, I mean, like, everyone knows One Punch Man. It's literally, like, it's goaded. It's amazing. Everyone knows One Punch Man. Uh, I'm kind of late to the party, honestly. I had Volume 1. I picked it up just because whatever, just felt like it. And then today, I actually copped the next eight uh without four because it's uh, out of stock right now unfortunately but i'll copy it whenever it comes in i already read it up to like volume 10 so online but i'll cop the next volume when uh, it comes out comes back in stock so right here is blue period uh, i think there was an anime for this actually but i didn't watch it i didn't even know it was airing um really great series it's about this guy here uh Yaguchi, I think his name is. Uh, I read volume one and two a while ago, and I was just waiting for more volumes to come out. It is on volume six right now. It's ongoing series, but uh, uh, it's a really good manga. It's about this guy, delinquent kind of guy who uh, doesn't really know what he's doing. He's kind of lost, and uh, he discovers art, and he, per he wants to pursue being an art student. Uh, it's really great art. Uh, I haven't got too far into it, but I've heard a lot of good things. And uh, from what I have read, very enjoyable. They are the uh, bigger Kodansha volumes, which will run you a bit more. Uh, it's more expensive than your standard show and jump stuff. But uh, yeah, and then here, uh, this series does have more than one volume. I only have one, though. I believe there's like five or something. And it has an anime for this season, I believe. It is so cute, guys. Like, I'm just a sucker for these wholesome fucking slice of life romance, blushing, teasing stuff. It's just so cute. Like, it actually, in between the chapters, it actually uh, teaches you about shogi and, like, some of the rules and stuff. Like, you know, I'm no five head, so I'm not out here learning it. But, you know, it's kind of cool for who can appreciate it. Uh, yeah. So, also, the more expensive volumes uh, kind of pains. 
but you know, it is what it is. Next up, Inuyasha. Uh, these are actually the only volumes I have that are reversed, so they're not in the uh, proper standard um, right-to-left format. I guess they're just really old. They look old. I got them at a used store for like two bucks or something. I was just like, whatever. Maybe they're rare, maybe they're not. I don't fucking know. I just caught them because they're like two bucks. Uh, I have volume 29, 30, and 14, just from some random stuff. Like, I don't even haven't even read Inuyasha. I just bought them because they're like a dollar, two bucks or something. But yeah, so moving on here. This is a recent pickup. I'm very uh, happy with this. I seen it on Facebook Marketplace. It is. I don't know if you guys know about Love Hina. It is a classic. It is a classic 2000, early 2000s um, uh, romance, etchy type harm thing. And this series has literally paved the way. Like a lot of the etchy harm stuff you see nowadays was inspired by Love Hina and stuff like Ichigo 100%, etc. Like they are still printing omnibuses of this series but um the single versions that i have here are out of print i believe so that is cool i got them for a really good price all 14 for 100 bucks and they're like basically perfect condition like barely any yellowing but like the spines are flawless like it's great uh yeah so that was cool i already started reading it i read it in the past but I was just reading it the other night. I got to like volume four. Really cute. The MC's kind of a kind of a goof, but you know, hopefully he gets better by the end. And uh the main girl, uh Naru, she is absolutely awesome. Uh yeah. Next up we have Komi. Um everyone knows Komi. Really successful anime. Our everyone's favorite uh <laughs> communication disorder girl. Uh haven't actually read it. Uh well, I did read it. I read it like volume five, but I just put it down and never picked it up because I was reading other shit. But there's like 20, I think there's like 18 or 20 volumes out right now. Um, not interested in copping them right now, but uh, it's a really cute series. It's a four coma manga, I believe. Or is that just the first volume? I don't know. Yeah, so it's a, okay, no. So it's a regular manga, but uh, yeah, cute, funny. Um, a lot of people love this series. And for some fucking reason, guys, I don't know if you can see that, volume 10 is just a big boy. Like, ugh, why? Everyone says like this, it's fucked up with the printing. It's bigger, it's just like, why, man? Why? Annoying. Now this here, guys, is a series called Eyes. This is also a classic Shonen Jump romance series. <clears throat> It, uh, it's also one of the goats, like Ichigo 100% and Love Hina. Um, I really wanted to collect this series, but it is out of print and it is like pretty hard to find. Like, I'm pretty sure it's out of print actually. It might not be out of print, but like, I think like some of the volumes are easy to find. Like if you just check on Amazon, they're there, but then you got like four, there's 15 volumes and like four of the 15 are just like impossible to find. So that's pretty hurting, but yeah, I might just read this online and give up collecting it because, you know, especially in Canada, I can't pay, like, fucking 50 bucks in shipping from some dude on eBay. I don't know. It's just kind of cringe, but, yeah. So, and finally, the last book here, uh, Kiru no Kill Me, or Kiru Kill Me. Uh, I just picked it up on a whim. It's pretty funny. Just, uh, uh, it's just about this guy who, uh, likes this girl and, uh, <laughs> he's super rich, so he just, like, basically tries to get her to kill him but he can't die i kind of forgot i read it a while ago there's two volumes out but it's uh, just kind of a whatever series you know just kind of funny but uh yeah so that was the last shelf all right so just to give you guys a final uh overview oh by the way i forgot to mention this volume six of chainsaw man is fucked up guys i don't know like it's just all out of like out of line like be wary when you're uh copping chainsaw man watch out for that uh yeah this is just the overview of my collection uh i'm sure there's bigger well i know there's bigger collections out there but uh, i'm just going at my own pace you know uh having a lot of fun collecting series i actually like and uh 
yeah, basically every series on here, I absolutely love. Um, yeah, so there's the overview, and uh, yeah. So this is like my first video. Um, let me know if you guys have any uh, criticisms or things that you think I could do better. Uh, I'm just filming on an iPhone, so like, you know, not some fucking movie production quality, but uh, yeah, so... I don't know, this is probably gonna get like zero, like fucking five views, but you know, who knows, just doing it for fun. So uh yeah. Uh I'll drop my Discord in the description. Uh, I'm always down to talk about weeb culture, so you know, whatever, just hit me up. I'm always bored, I have no life, so yeah. Uh thanks for watching and uh catch you guys in the next one. If there is a next one, uh peace.